Hey, what's going on guys? Noe here. Welcome to my first official video upload here onto the channel. I'm excited to share with everyone the boxing gym setup that I've got in my two car garage. I've been working on this for a couple of months now and finally completed it a few weeks ago. And, uh, you know, been getting a lot of ideas, a lot of research, uh, fellow YouTubers watching your videos and kind of seeing the, the setup that you guys have and, and brands and whatnot of, of, of what everyone's using. So uh, I thought I would make a little video and kind of show you guys the, uh, the setup that I have and hopefully inspire some of you to also uh, create your own and, and get to, uh, to get to practicing the sweet science of boxing. So a uh, fairly common garage, 20 by 20, 400 square foot garage. And uh, I've decided to turn mine into boxing gym slash workshops. So you guys can see all my tools in the background, uh, but fairly simple, fairly simple setup. The first thing you'll see here is this treadmill uh, from Horizon Fitness, I believe it's a T101. Uh, fairly standard, does the job, nothing fancy, just uh, enough to get a, a good warm up before doing some shadow boxing or uh, jumping rope. Um, next thing we have here is the 80 pound bag from Pro uh, Boxing Equipment, a uh, company out of LA, I believe. Uh, awesome bag. I've seen a, this bag used quite a bit and in some of the professional gyms out there. I'll share the link in the description if any of you guys are interested in getting the same bag. Uh, but next up, we've got this small weight setup here. It's five to 20 pounds. Uh, I'm still working on it, as you guys can tell. Weights got expensive last year with COVID and uh, haven't gone around to getting the rest. So, so we'll still work on that. Um, but yeah, the next thing is this Meister uh, hand wrap roller and comes in super handy. You don't wanna have your wraps all tangled up after you work out. Uh, you let them dry for a bit, come back and then just roll them up and, and get them ready for the, for the next workout session. Right next to it is my trophy wall. Some trophies from back in the day, uh, just for motivational purposes. Next up, we have the double end bag. This is a title platinum edition. I believe there's a newer model now on their website. Again, I'll share the link in the description if you guys are interested in looking into this bag. Pretty essential piece of equipment in any boxing gym. Great for practicing on your head movement, timing, uh, your distance, uh, as well as your eye coordination. Next up, we have the Ballas uh, Speedback platform, and on it I have a 5x8 uh, Speedback. I believe this is a small size on, on the title website. I have 50 pounds of weight on top of that just to absorb some of the vibration. Right next to it, I got this six foot uh, tall full length mirror to uh, shadow box and, and jump rope and all that stuff. I got it for 45 bucks on offer up, so definitely got a pretty good deal on that. And then the last thing, uh, this locker I got from Amazon. Um, and then I have this uh, little timer. You see my little timer there. Eventually I wanna get something that's a little bit bigger. That one does a trick for now, so it works. But yeah, I wanted to get a locker to store all my stuff, especially doing woodwork around the garage. I knew that stuff would get dusty and then with the heat, leather can get cracked and, and it just can go to waste. So wanted to store everything. My gloves fit perfectly, mitts, shoes, even my girl's gloves. Now that now we have the gym, she started working out with me as well. So came in pretty handy. Definitely recommend getting some kind of storage like that. Uh, again, I'll link the, the link in the description if you guys are interested in, in looking at getting one of those as well. So as you guys can see, uh, this is still a work in progress. I do want to get a couple more items there, maybe hang a wrecking ball up there uh, and then something else on this side. Uh, but for now, this does the trick, this works. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, please like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos on any updates or any new equipment that I add to the, to the small gym setup. All right, so that'll do it for today's video. Again, hope you guys found this useful and I will see you guys on the next video.